Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video, and this time we're going to be looking at another World Chalice combo. Now, this is something that has been requested that I cover uh, on my streams, on some of my old combo tutorial comments. Uh, basically, it's something that I'm kind of unsure as to why I never actually covered it, because upon looking further into my channel, I was like, oh yeah, I have just never, never covered this combo. But what this combo is that I'm going to be showing you is the combo that it's very rare that you actually perform it, but it is something that you want to know in case you have to perform it, and that is the one card Venus combo that is an Ngirsu draw, a Gumblar for four, and sets up a live firewall back on your board. So it's a very, very, you know, potent play for what you're putting into it. You're just doing one Venus, you're drawing two cards, you're taking four away from your opponent, uh, and basically, like, you're, you have a live firewall on the board as well, which is a good piece of disruption. Uh, it's kind of weak compared to what the combos you could do with an extender are, you know, like Venus plus Brilliant Fusion or Venus World Legacy World Chalice or whatever. Those combos that end on like Gumblar for 4 plus Trigate Wizard, things like that, is definitely weaker than those combos, but this is definitely something that, like I said, you want to know how to be able to do it in case you have to do it, because I have had to do this in tournament settings a few times, and making a play to try and discard 4 out of your opponent's hand is at least better than doing nothing. So, what I'm going to show you is literally one card Venus play. The other four cards in your hand literally do not matter what they are. It is just Venus. This is an Ngirsu draw three. Sets up the firewall back live on your board. Or not Ngirsu draw three. Ngirsu draw two. It's only a draw three if you add an extender into it. Uh, but it's an Ngirsu draw two, Gumblar for four, live firewall. So, what you do is you normal Venus, and you activate Venus's effect three times to get the three shine balls out of your deck. Uh, and this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, so this is going to take a minute. <laughs> it's going to take a little while. Uh, it's going to take even longer if I keep missing the button. Uh, but so you summon your three Shine Balls, and then you're going to go straight into your Summon Sorceress, leaving a Shine Ball on the field. Then you're going to activate Summon Sorceress, targeting the Shine Ball, summoning Eva to your side of the field. Now from here, you're going to make your Shine Ball into Imduk, and you're going to make your Eva into Link Karibo. This will let the Eva trigger in your graveyard, banishing your Venus and your Mystical Shine Ball to get Lee and Herald of the Orange Light to your hand. So now, we're not going to be able to resolve World Legacy World Chalice in this combo sequence, because in the past, we could have. We could have, like, made Goblin, discarded a card, specialed this off of uh, off of Imduk, and then searched World Legacy World Chalice, and the Goblin would give me an extra normal summon, but we don't have access to that anymore because Goblin is banned. So what we have to do now is we have to just normal summon the Lee with the additional normal summon that Imduk gives us. Now, if your hand had an additional World Chalice monster in it, like uh, World Chalice Guard Dragon, for example, you actually would be able to go Imduk and Link Karibo into uh, into uh, Eeb and then special this and then, you know, discard uh, Guard Dragon, get a vanilla back and all that sort of stuff. There's, there's different routes you can take with this, obviously, adding any extender to it, but that's not really the focus of what we're going down. But for this combo sequence, you have to normal summon the Lee, you have to burn your additional normal summon on it, and because of that, you have to add Guard Dragon to your hand because we're not going to be resolving World Legacy, World Chalice. But so, now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Eeb with the Link Karibo and the Imduk here, and then the Imduk is going to trigger Specialing Guard Dragon to whatever side of the field you're going to be working off of. I personally always work off the left-hand side because I play Nightmare Phoenix in my extra deck as my uh, Link 2 of choice. Some people play Nightmare Cerberus, which means you have to reverse the side of the field you're working on because you have to summon Firewall here and Cerberus here to point to it. So just depending on what you're playing, if you're playing Phoenix or Cerberus, or if you're just playing a second Eeb, then none of this matters. Use whatever side of the board you want. Uh, but basically... You have to uh, you have to structure where this uh, goes based off where the Firewall Dragon is going to go. So, speaking of Firewall Dragon, you link the Summon Sorceress and the Lee that's left over into Firewall Dragon, and then you're going to activate the Link Kribo Engrave, tributing the Guard Dragon to summon the Link Kribo back, and then you're going to trigger Firewall Dragon's effect to special summon from your hand. You're going to special summon the Herald of Orange Light over here. Now from here, you're going to use the Guard Dragon Engrave. We're actually burning this Guard Dragon relatively early, but there's a reason for it. Summoning this over here. And now we're going to link that vanilla away into Link Spider above the Firewall Dragon. And then we're going to link the Link Karibo and the Herald of Orange Light away into my Nightmare Phoenix pointing at the Firewall. So now Firewall is co-linked with three. So we're going to activate this. And what we're going to put back into our hand is we're going to put back Eva, we're going to put back Lee, the World Chalice Fairy, and you're going to put back any vanilla that's in your graveyard. Doesn't matter what the vanilla is, it just has to be a vanilla. You always want to add back those three if you're performing this exact sequencing that I'm showing you. 
uh, because every single one has its proper role. You're going to be evoing for the Link Karibo, so that's obviously a given. This, you're going to be specialing to get your second draw off in Gearsu, and this we're going to special to make Imduk later at a very specific point after we in Gearsu. But, so, that's something that you'll see in just a moment. But So, what we're going to do from here is that we're just going to make the Link Spider and the Nightmare Phoenix into Ningirsu over here. The Ningirsu will trigger as Chain Link 1, the Firewall will trigger Special Link from our hand as Chain Link 2, and so we'll special the Lee from our hand next to Ningirsu, draw two cards. Good, nice. we got eight cards in hand to work with. So now from here, what we want to do is we want to trigger this Firewall to Special from our hand again. Um, and we want to save the Eva for the last thing that we do. We're also going to be Gumblaring as like the last action we perform in our turn with this uh, with this structure. So that if you wanted to use Soul Charge, you could obviously set it. If you want to use the Exodius, at this point, Exodius in this sense, uh, instance would be kind of weird because you can't bring the Link Karibo back again, but you could probably do some sort of thing. If you want to set the Call by the Graves, you can. Basically, like, that's not what we're focusing on here, but it's things that you could consider. Like, you could easily just set these or just play them first. But, so what we're going to do is we're going to make Orem with the Lee, because we want that back in the graveyard, and the Eeb, because we want to trigger Firewall Dragon's effect. So we're going to make Orem. Firewall will trigger, and we're going to special the vanilla from our hand into this zone. Either this zone or this zone. It doesn't necessarily matter, just as long as it's an Orem zone. But now the Lee is engraved, which is live, so we're going to use the Lee. We're going to send the Firewall to Grave to add Lee back to our hand, and then we're going to use the vanilla that's on the field to make Imduk. And now from here, we're going to use the Orum, tributing the Imduk, targeting the Firewall Dragon, to special the Firewall Dragon back, and then Imduk will trigger its effect to special a World Chalice from our hand. So we'll special the Lee. You're going to special the Lee next to Firewall Dragon here. Very important. Very, very important that you special it there. But so then from here, you're going to be able to go into Gumblar, with the Lee and the Ningirsu into Gumblar right here next to Firewall. So now Firewall is co-linked with one and it's live because it's been revived. And then you're going to trigger the Firewall Dragon's effect to special summon, specialing Eva from your hand next to its arrow. That triggers the Gumblar and then you just get to discard two cards out of your six. So two Midbreaker Fields are gone. And then from here, it's pretty obvious. Like the, the very last thing you did in the turn structure was Gumblar. Uh, with my hand, I could obviously have extended into a soul charge thing, but like, if you have any reborn spell, that's obviously a given. You're obviously going to be doing more with your hand if you have any sort of extenders. Um, but so in the draw phase, you're just going to tribute the uh, the Eva for Link Karibo. Uh, you're going to trigger your Gumblar, trigger your Eva, and you're going to banish two. The Eva is going to search two. It's going to search another Lee and another Herald. And then you're at six cards and discarding two again. So you'll discard two. And then your opponent will also discard two cards. So your opponent's on four cards, and there's a live firewall bounce, which isn't the best way to do this, because with the popularity of Sky Strikers, with the popularity of Call by the Grave and all that sort of stuff, if you're if you're um, and the popularity of uh, Infinite Impermanence as well, if your Gumblar gets impermanenced, that's going to be a problem because that means that you've taken two cards out of their hand and then they impermanenced you. On, like if they drew it for turn, for example. That's happened before several times, both on video and in tournament, uh, to me. If they impermanence your Gumblar, then, uh, then like, that's essentially they get to keep three cards instead of two. Sure, you're getting the Eva search, which means that you get Harold and Lee, which that sort of counteracts a card naturally by itself. Uh, but still, it's, it's kind of weird and wonky to work with, if I do say so myself. Uh, but uh, your opponent's on three cards and you're playing with Harold. But the things that you really want to work at, uh, watch out for are Called by the Grave and uh, Sky Striker Widow Anchor and Sky Striker um, Shark Cannon. Shark Cannon in particular, because Shark Cannon and Called by the Grave can hit the Link Karibo out of your graveyard, preventing it from summoning itself, thusly preventing your Gumblar from triggering. Now, in this instance, it's not that big of an issue. Not that big of an issue, because we have this Firewall on the field and we summon the Eva next to it, which means that we're tributing the Eva from the Firewall Zone. Which means if you had any other monster in your hand at that point in time, you'd be able to, even if they call by the grave or shark, uh, uh, shark cannon the Link Karibo away, your firewall would trigger to special from your hand, and thus you could special a monster next to a Link Zone, and then you can trigger Gumblar anyway, and you're already going to be getting Eva's search because that never got negated. Uh, so like, there's, there's little workarounds for that sort of uh, instance happening. But basically, you do want to try and put any extender into this combo that you can uh, like commit from your hand, whether it's Brilliant Fusion, Shade Brigandine, World Legacy, World Chalice, Lee, 
Like any of those extenders that are named extenders that are like actual proper like play extending extenders, I guess, rather than just being random monsters, are what allow you to take this play further by allowing you to like resolve World Legacy, World Chalice, uh, get extra monsters on the field at specific points to make it to where you don't have to add as many back with Firewall, meaning you don't have to burn your Link Spider or have to burn whatever. There's a lot of different things that, you know, you expand upon this play with, but this fundamental only Venus play is definitely something that you would want to know. Basically. The wordiest way I could have possibly said it is that you do want to know this play. There are workarounds you need to make sure you know of, of like Impermanence or Widow Anchor on Gumblar or Shark Cannon or Call by the Grave on your Link Karibo. You need to be able to, you know, notice, know, know the way to play around that with like summoning the Eva to Firewall Zone, having a monster in your hand so you can trigger Firewall Special and do all that. You just, you've got to keep yourself aware of these things if you're playing this deck. That's like the biggest thing that I have to say, but anyway, that's a big wordy, lengthy discussion at the end of this video to cap it out. Uh, sorry if it was a bit too wordy, sorry if it was a bit too overcomplicated for what I was trying to say, which is just get good, essentially, just be good, look at your plays, and try to make the bright ones. Um, but anyway, I thank you all for watching regardless. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video, subscribe if you're new here and want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Leave a suggestion or a positive comment in the comments down below if you want to see other videos or other things like that. And as well as if you want to catch my semi-frequent live streams, I say semi-frequent as in like I do like multiple a week, usually two to three, then go to the Twitch link that is in the description of this video and follow that and be notified next time I go live. As well as if you want to chat with me and several other like-minded people in my channel's personal Discord server, then a link to that is in the description down below as well. As well as I use that Discord to announce when I'm going to be live streaming. So that gives you another avenue of knowing when I'm live streaming if that's something you're interested in seeing because oftentimes when I live stream I play random combo decks world chalice being one of them but other than that as I've already said thanks for watching thanks for your time as usual guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below as always and take care I'll see you in the next video